three, two, one, action. How you doing guys? Welcome back to Mad Marketing's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be discussing how to set up your Facebook pixel. Now before I get into that, I want to explain to those of you who are unfamiliar with social media, advertising, and the Facebook pixel, what the Facebook pixel does, right? So essentially, it's a snippet of code that Facebook provides you once you set up your ad account. And you can place this code on your website, whether that be done through Shopify, WordPress, ClickFunnels, even Squarespace, which is what we use for our website. Once you place that snippet of code on your website, then you're going to be able to track certain events like lead signups, people who subscribe to your newsletter, people who contact you through your contact page, people who added an item to cart, people who made a purchase on your website. So those are some of the things that you're going to be able to do once you set up your Facebook pixel and even more exciting and I'll make more videos about that along the way is that you can actually start creating dynamic product ads which is a great way to get people who have added a, who have abandoned their cart on your site it's a great way to actually get them to come back and get them to complete their purchase so I'm gonna jump into the to the ads manager dashboard for Facebook and show you how to set this up. Here we are on the business.facebook.com site or the ads manager dashboard. What I'm gonna do is click on this hamburger right here to bring up my menu and I'm gonna go into business settings. So once I'm in business settings, on my left hand side we see this menu accounts data sources brand safety registrations integrations payment methods security center request notifications and so on what i'm going to do is click here data sources and click on pixels now that i'm here in the pixel what i see here on the right hand side are all the pixels that are currently exist under this account this manager account and what i'm going to do is add Connect website activity using pixel. And so I'm gonna name the pixel here. So here I can actually name the pixel. Don't mind the name guys, this, is, this website isn't even created just yet, but that's going to be coming soon. It's a completely separate project and I'm gonna hit continue, but right there is where you would actually put your URL if your website was already set up. Are you ready to set up your pixel? Now that you've created a pixel, you need to implement some code on your website. Now here you're gonna have two options. You can continue managing the business. You can set up your pixel later. Oh, not here. First, we're gonna click set up the pixel now. So here you should have two options. Add code using a partner integration. Manually add pixel code to website. And so I'm gonna walk you through this. So if you were to add the code using a partner integration, let's say you have Shopify or even WordPress, they make it extremely simple for you. So let's just check out Shopify really quick. Hope, hopefully we could go back. Yeah, we could go back. And so they'll provide you with the instructions, but we'll see. So that's if you're using a third party site and using that integrations one of those that they have available check it out if you're using a custom backend so i do have clients their backend is completely custom built from the ground up so a third party integration will not work for us and i just want to show you what that looks like you'll have the option to get the snippet of code as well as instructions on setting setting that up and from the ads manager back end for Facebook, you're going to be able to send that email directly to your developer if you have one. And if you don't, there there's also an option for you to actually manually implement code yourself is what it's going to say. And you'll be able to click that and the code and the instructions are going to come up for you there. It's actually really simple. 
it's you copy the the code snippet and you'll paste it I believe in between your header tags and if not the header tags your body tags but the instructions will be there unfortunately this isn't loading right now so here we are we're back up and so I'm just gonna call this one test just for the simple fact of getting to show you this so set up pixel now and then here is where you'll be able to email the code and the instructions directly to your developer from within this platform this dashboard and then if you were going to do it yourself copy to clipboard copy and paste the pixel code into the bottom of the header section of your site just above the head tag turn on automatic advanced matching that's for another time another video and then here you can actually test it you can test to see that your code was set up once you've implemented it and let's just take a quick leap just to show you what this should look like once it's actually on your website so i'm going to jump into the code source and i'm going to type in this boom facebook pixel code just paste it right there you know within my head tags and done so everything is tracking and you're able to see all of that all of the events so once you have that set up i'm just going to show you really quickly in events manager how you're actually going to be able to see how things are working so right here i'm going to move myself over here right here we can see that the all activity here on this pixel in the last 28 days page views view content search add to cart initiate checkouts purchases and contact are all being recorded by the facebook pixel and what's beautiful about this is once you start running campaigns and your tr your facebook pixel is starting to track this information and build off this information you can build customized audience groups that where Facebook is going to go out on on the Facebook social media and find these people who viewed a page or find these people who added an item to cart but didn't check out and then you'll be able to retarget them on Facebook. So I hope that helped you guys out. I hope you found the value in this video and if you know of anybody who this video might help, feel free to share it with them. Hope you guys like and subscribe, help promote the channel so that more marketers and entrepreneurs get the information they need to get started. I'll see you guys next time.